a tiny Melbourne-made device that makes a big impact globally. Just to hear, you know, music and even my own voice and my dog barking and just those little moments. 40 years ago, Graham Clark created the cochlear implant that gives deaf people the ability to hear. What inspired me was firstly my father. My dad was a pharmacist in Camden, New South Wales, and he had a severe hearing loss. There were plenty of critics. I had uh, colleagues going to the vice chancellor suggesting that I might be dismissed from my job. It's now used by over half a million people worldwide, including actor Nathan Borg. Nathan became profoundly deaf after contracting meningitis as a baby and received the device when he was two years old. Now he's the first actor in Australia to be on screen with a cochlear implant. At first, I realised that there was no one like me on screen and I knew that, you know, I wanted to change that. He wants to see more people with a disability represented in the industry. So it's amazing that I am in that position to be a role model for young kids with cochlear implants. The device has come a long way since the first early prototypes in the late 70s, becoming much more high tech and portable. But Graham says young up and coming scientists could innovate the implant even further. It's wonderful to see the young children who are having implants even before the age of one, growing up with normal speech and language. And with continued upgrades, the cochlea is set to help many more children to come. Dana Morse, ABC News, Melbourne.